struggling shooting in the early going. Irish on the move. Diggins attacking. Diggins to a shot off. She was fouled. When you can get into the interior of the deep. Good player herself. Yeah, she's shown the remarkable improvement from the beginning of the season to now. Tallest player in Oklahoma women's basketball history at 6-6. Diggins again through traffic. Found Mallory. Open three. Hits another one. She's got four of them. Mallory was big for Notre Dame in the first half. Brittany Mallory hit four threes in the first 20 minutes. The spirit, the energy level for Oklahoma in the second half, a stark contrast to the first half. So maybe Sherry Cole had a Pat Summit-like chat in the locker room at halftime, but Mallory makes it. Another Texas a and terrific pressure defense on a great Stanford team. Diggins on the drive, and the give. Nicely done there, too, for Deborah Peters. The channel into the ball game, hands off for Skyler Diggins. Gets a lot of that lane to lay it up and in. Yeah, now that's against Kelly Pat from across the country. Odyssey Sims bowed out in the regional final with Baylor. The lone one standing, Rhea Hartley. And is this the theme of the night? We've already had the lead change hands eight times. Here's Diggins. Nice looking three for Skylar Diggins. Nicely says, you know what, Diggins? I think you're better with the ball under the shot clock. Diggins shot clock winding down to three and will lay it in. That's the right choice. And it's Neil Ivy, who was the point guard on the national championship team, had to play through pain, and her presence has been huge for Skylar Diggins as you see that uh, banner. Holly, you have more. The current point guard of this team, Skylar Diggins, was just a little girl watching Neil lead them to a national championship. She idolized her. So now that she's part of the team, she has gone to Neil. They watched countless hours of film together. She relies on her, and she said, the biggest thing I've told Skylar Diggins to do out there that I did to lead them to a national championship, be a leader on the floor. She's just a sophomore, but the seniors will look to you for leadership in key moments. Guys, we've already seen that here tonight. Yeah, she has 10 points. Tied at 16. So you see the switching is presenting Diggins with different looks, both Ferris and Hartley. Diggins taking on Hartley, pops it up, and knocks it down. So the switch. For Fourth time this season, they're 0-3. They last met on March 8th in the Big East Championship. UConn won that 73-64. to Diggins pulls up at the foul line and drains it. She's cooking. Just an outstanding the heat. 13 points so far in the first half for the three-time Wade Trophy winner. Mallory off the fake. She's really owned them with that move tonight. She really has, and it's a simple up. Back clock at three. Maya shot. She had to get that up there in a hurry. Skylar Diggins, quick step into the lane. Nova Cell off the fake. On the teardrop, that rolls in distance. That's a dangerous mistake teams make. They sleep on Maya momentarily, and she makes them pay. You cannot let her loose like that. Diggins with a jump pass and a nice conversion on the other end. Nutter on the wing. Diggins looked up at that shot clock, which is down to eight. Hartley trying to stick with her. Skyler Diggins, airborne, banks it in! And the foul! And Notre Dame has pushed into the lead, 41 to 38. Lamore <laughs> trying to spring open. Hayes to Dixon. Maya moving without the ball relentlessly. Here's Hayes to fire. That's not by three. Oversell gave up her dribble. I thought she had uh, hardly enough on her hip to make a move to the rim. Skyler Diggins with 20 points. So does Maya Moore for UConn. Diggins try to add to her total, and she does. They rely so heavily on Nova Cell and Diggins to carry them on the offensive end. Nova Cell's got 21. Dixon gave up the dribble. Ferris harassed from behind by Diggins and the theft. A huge turnover. Diggins to drive it and lays it in. 